Hi all. In this video, let's learn about ReactJS practical interview questions. The topic is about use effect. So, in the last video, we have learned about use state. All the practical interview questions related to the use state. So, this is about use effect. This video is for the beginners. So, if you want to learn about more about the use effect, I have also done that video as well. I have kept. I will be keeping that video at the end card. Okay. Let's get started. First. So this is a normal React project created based on a npm npx create React app. So here the three access we have three accesses in this app component in the container component. I will be loading the each access as a each individual component. Okay, now in the access one, let's see what we have in the access one. So as per the access one, we need to modify this code. Okay, we need to modify this code. Okay. And we need to see modify the page using the use effect such that the page displays the current time. Okay, we need to use use effect and we need to display the time. It should the time should be modified. So let's see. I'm running this project. See now the time is not displaying. It was stopped at this point. Okay, let's display the time, the current time. Okay, GMT current time. It should be modified with the seconds. Let's do that. Okay, what we need to do? We need to use use effect. Okay. As soon as we use the use effect, we need to import this use effect on the top. That's the first dependency we need to import. So later on, we need to write the use effect. This is a regular syntax. See, the question is the page should display the current time. It means all the time it should be executed. So I will be setting the set time. So this is the set time state. I will update the set time state. Okay. So the current time. So I need to update the time i need to update this time to this new date okay let me do this okay new date so whenever this component is loaded okay this use effect would be triggered and it will update the new date means it will pick the latest current date and it will be shown here as part of this it will be showing clear like that i have not used the second parameter dependency parameter so that's the reason this use effect will be executed every time so for example, if I see here, you can see the time is updating. Automatically, it is updating. Clear, everyone? So this is the first one you need to understand. This is a basic use effect. OK, this is a syntax. So we have not yet used the empty dependency array and the second parameter. So in the next exercises, we'll be using that. OK, everyone clear, right? This is a new date, and that would be assigned to the time. And that is available here. And I'm using use effect directly so it will triggered for all the time whenever the component loads it would be triggered each and every time it would be triggered okay fine so coming to the second exercise here as per the this is also same exercise but here you need to update the time whenever a button is clicked when the button is clicked then only you need to update the time okay so let me comment the first exercise here and open back and come in the second exercise here as per this exercise you need to show the time only when the button is clicked so let's use a use effect once again so that should be imported at the top okay and now let me use this use effect so as what we discussed whenever the button is clicked every time when the button is clicked the time should be updated so if the button is clicked what you are updating Whenever the button is clicked, the count variable is updating. Count is a state variable that is updating. So that's the reason in the dependency array, you need to mention as a count. So now whenever the button is clicked, this count state would be updated and this count value would be updated. Then this callback function, use state callback function would be executed. Now what I need to do, I need to modify the time. Okay, I need to update the time. So for that, I'm just using this set time and updating this time variable here. So let me modify that to the new date. Clear? Yeah. So let's see the output. So now if you go here, the time is not updating automatically. Okay. As on when I click this, you can see the time was updated. Whenever I click a button, okay, the state would be updated. Okay. As the state is updated, in the dependency array, we have given the state update count. Whenever this state is updated, this count, this callback function will be executed. So that is the reason. Again, whenever this button is clicked, we are updating the state of the time. So that's the reason. If I again click, see it is modified the time. So this is about the second exercise. 
in the first exercise the basic default use effect syntax would be there in the second it is we need to understand use effect in a, with the dependency array as well clear let's see the third exercise so this is also the same one as the second exercise but there are asking the different thing like there are two buttons and two time out two set times okay whenever this button is clicked this time out should be applied whenever one button is clicked the related time should be updated whenever this button is clicked button set count button this time should be updated that is what they are expecting it means the update should be happen individually so for that what we need to do we need to write two use effects so most of the cases you know need everyone will think that they can uh, mention the use effect in the same one same box but instead of that you need to have so let me define a new new date here okay and in as a dependency array i will be giving the count okay this is what i will be doing so this is only for the count okay but for the count too again you need to replicate the same so this exercise is we need to understand the use effect can be used can we can use this n number of times fine but if you club this here what happens this callback function would be executed all the time even the count one is modified count two is also modified this callback function is executed so in order to update the states individually so as per this modify the page such that such that the last updated time stamps are individually updated so that's the reason we have taken up the use effect individually clear so now let's see the output so for this i need to go back to the app i need to comment the access to i need to uncomment the access 3 and then it will be go back here so if i click this this would be updated if i click this second button this would be updated so based upon this button click this state is updating individually so this is what the access 3 refers so hope you understand the video thanks for thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos i will be doing a uh, series of this practical interview questions thank you